Hi, I'm John Burke, team lead for Burke & Company, where we're trying to provide you a better real estate experience. And as promised, this week we're going to give you a look at the state of the market in Sea Isle City. So let's get started. Obviously, if you're interested in any specific sector here in Sea Isle, we'd love to talk to you. What I'm going to do today is look at three facts, and then from those three facts, pull out three trends that give you a really good idea of what's going on now and where things might be headed. Up first, new construction townhomes in Seattle City. New construction townhomes have always served as a great barometer here of where prices are moving in the market. It's the same house, basically, um, by mostly the same builders over and over. So as a general rule, uh, builders in Seattle will talk about you know the new construction 100 block between Landis and Central home price. Now, this spring, we saw sales at 121 45th Street and 115 49th Street for $860,000 and $910,000 respectively. So right now, in some of the more premium blocks here in Seattle, in the 100 block, we're seeing homes go under contract for new construction over $900,000. And that's a pretty sharp contrast from even just two or three years ago. If we go back in time and we look at the price in 2015, two years ago in the spring, we're going to see houses at places like 123 46th Street selling for 765, 125 45th Street selling for 765, and 139 47th selling for 770. So that's a pretty big move over two years. And if we go back even a little further, we'll see homes on the 100 block at like 82nd Street, which might even be a better block to some people, um, selling for $735,000 and houses on beach blocks, like at 2280th Street, new construction was going for $920,000. So we've seen the new construction price over the series of years move up, and move up rather dramatically down here. The trend? The trend is probably that this is going to continue. The new townhouse with the elevated bonus room has become the most popular home here in Seattle. People love to get them if they can afford them. And the rumor on the island right now is that most of the builders are very anxious to find properties to build on. So there's been a lot of phone calls being made, a lot of reaching out, and um, a, lot of, a, a lot of opportunity for people who own those single homes again. Um, that, you know, if you went back 10 years ago, they felt like they missed their shot. All right, what about the condo market? Well, the condo market in Sea Isle has been in sort of a state of uh, flux, maybe, um, through the last seven years because of the change in zoning that occurred in Sea Isle in 2010, where we started seeing those condos built over retail space. Because of that, on any given year, there could be sort of a wealth of them on the market, which obviously affects things. However, in the last two years, because the condos up at Doc McGrogan's, what used to be Bush's, have never been put onto the market, we haven't seen any major projects come in. And what we have seen is, whereas last year in 2016, in the first seven months of the year, we saw something like, I believe, 32 three-bedroom units sold. This year, we've only seen 21. And it's not because of a lack of buyers, it's been because of a lack of supply. So without a doubt right now in Sea Isle, and this affects a few things, two-bedroom condos, three-bedroom older condos, the new three-bedroom condos and those newer projects which have been coming back onto the market at absolutely fantastic prices for the people who bought them a few years ago. Um, there's definitely a trend on the lower end of the Seattle market that makes it harder and harder for people to find that entry-level price here. So we've seen a lot of appreciation on the bottom end of the market, and that's the trend going on there right now. Finally, I want to talk about the beachfront. Now, in almost every category here in Sea Isle, you'll find that it's a seller's market right now, like we've been looking at. And typically, nationally, they determine that if there's less than a six-month supply of homes. There remains one category in Sea Isle that has close to a year supply of homes. That means the number of homes available in the market listed for sale is greater than the number that have sold in the last 12 months. And that's on the beachfront here where we've seen the 100 block pick up, and then, finally after that, the beach block pick up, 
We have not seen the same trend yet up on the beachfront. And that's what makes me think it's possible. This is where the greatest opportunity exists right now. So the trend, a few years ago I was talking to people about buying on the beach block because the 100 block had moved up dramatically and the price to the beach block was still too close to it. I think we have the same thing going on right now with the beachfront. So a lot of the great opportunities, the greatest deals down here have passed in a lot of places. If there is a place left in Sea Isle where I do not think that's the case yet, I would point to the beachfront. And if you're interested in talking about it, give us a call. In general, what do we see across the board here? We see that it could be a great time if you're thinking about selling a home that you have here in Sea Isle. This fall might be one of the best opportunities that we've had in about a decade. So I thank you all for you know watching us this week. If you do have any questions or there's anything you want to talk about, reach out to us at Burke & Company. I'm John Burke, and we'll see you next week.